Welcome back to the Aspazio Miniature. In this episode, we're gonna talk about Hard War, a game by Stratominis, written in collaboration with Robbie Jenkins, famous author of uh, Horizon Wars, uh, similar game which this one is inspired from. Uh, this is gonna be a quick battle report, just 15 um, force class each side, mission zero from the, from the main book. Uh, the objective of the mission is just to kill each other <laughs> as much as we can. So the deployment is 6 inches from the table edge because we are 15 force class, it's gonna be a 3x3 three three table. Uh, the, the edge is the one delimited from these uh, small buildings on, on, on the board. When we start a new game, on the first turn, the first thing we need to do is to um, bid for initiative and this is uh, something we only do on the first turn so we we take all our uh, action token and we can spend how many we want on bidding for initiative but we need to be careful about how many we spend because those that we spend are lost for the for the turn so we, we can't really uh, use them and you, you reduce the amount of action you're gonna do on the first turn. With being the player with the initiative is quite important on this game because you can uh, first of all see where the player is gonna deploy which is a very big tactical advantage point and um, also you're gonna activate first. In this battle report we're gonna see uh, the Martian contingent on this side and the Exor, let's call it like that, the Exor on, on this side. Or at least you can decide if activating first or second. So because I, have done, I don't have an opponent on this uh, tonight, uh, let's pretend that we're gonna bid two tokens for the Martian contingent and three action tokens for the Exos. So they're gonna win the initiative uh, and the Martian contingent is, is the one that is going to deploy now. There you go, so we have put everyone uh, within 6 from the, the table edge and then we do the same with the, the XOR and now because we can see where the other player have deployed we, we're going to uh, take advantage, advantage of that. The XOR are going to play this aircraft this aircraft had the advantage of uh, being able to be holding reserve and to uh, gather fire and also orbital entry. So I'm gonna hold the, the aircraft as a support and deploy everything else. So the first things after uh, initiative building and deployment is the uh, electronic cyber warfare uh, phase um, where we should uh, try to find the frequency and jam the frequency of the um, enemy. But uh, again, because I have not another player, let's pretend for this first turn that nobody get uh, the right uh, frequency of the, the enemy. So it's not gonna be any jamming on, on this first round. And then we go straight into the, 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 the battle and the extra player you know, at this point should uh, declare if he wants to make an orbital entry at this point. So he, he should decide, in, in, he should put some token where it is possible that he is going to be entering the battlefield. But because I don't want to actually enter the battlefield at the, on this round, I'm not going to declare any, um, any point for the orbital entry. The player with initiative, the actual player has the initiative, and decide to go second, and the Martian contingent is going to be the first to activate. So because we are a 15 uh, first class uh, game, we had three budget points to spend and I decided to go for a remote headquarter on, on both faction and I left uh, one budget point out. I could probably put uh, some upgrade somewhere but I didn't want to bother too much on this, uh, on this first game. And because uh, as I said the Martian contingent uh, already bid for two action tokens that those two action tokens are lost and um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take one off from the remote headquarter which is the uh, Leonidas, Leonidas DC and I'll take one off from the, the class 2 Argo. I, while on the Exor, uh, I say that I have been taking out three action tokens, so I'm gonna take out two from the aircraft, uh, which is not gonna activate this turn, and uh, from my remote headquarter, which is gonna go down to two action token, because the, the headquarter always give you an additional action token for the turn. So I'm gonna start with the, with the Argo, because it's just a one action um, token 
which means I'm gonna pass straight away. So he's gonna do a normal movement. Um, normal movement is four, and another four. He moves uh, twice the movement characteristics. So he's, uh, he's hiding a little bit behind the wall here. So that concluded um, Argo activation, and it's back to the Exo to make a move. So the Rogue can move five, and he's gonna move double speed here and he's gonna spend the second action to go into the guard action so because we are already in the line of sight of the rogue which has moved into guard in the previous activation um, we gonna use Lysander straight away and do a move and shoot action which is gonna bring She's a bit too risky actually because um, the opponent, so the, the, the model in guard, is able to decide at which point to interrupt my action and, and shoot or do another action. So I'm gonna shoot straight away, which means uh, we put into cover. This is the 14, the range. So the first action is shooting. Actually, I'm gonna aim and then shoot with the second action. And so because uh, it's uh, an aim and action against someone who is into guard, he can uh, declare a shoot action uh, before we do the aim action, aim and shoot. So let's resolve the, the action from the roll first. He has um, four, uh, F4, so we roll four dice and we look into uh, 14, which is the range, plus uh, four, which is the armor, so 18, and because it's in cover, it's gonna be a uh, plus three yeah plus three because it's uh, more than half covered by by something by uh, element of terrain so we say 14 plus uh, 4 18 plus 3 it's 21 which is a lot and uh, we have a couple of 12 12 is uh, augmented dice that's a, that's a good a really good shot but before resolving the augmented die, we need to roll for defense, which is three. Three, and we don't cancel anything. So we're gonna add two for the augmented dice. And it's another augmented dice. The eight is still cancelled from, from these eight. And we have a 12, oh, sorry, a 11. So that's it. A really good one because they say 21 so we could probably do a critical damage like that and a normal damage here not a great start so I would say we reduce mobility for Lysander and uh, then it's time for Lysander to respond Lysander has 5 5 uh, F5 and because we aim it, it's uh, plus one, so it's six. And I can reroll one, one die after the defense roll. So six die, there you go. Not great as the other one. So the, the rogue is gonna uh, use defense three. It doesn't cancel anything. And we can also reroll something. So I'm gonna roll the three. Wow, that's a 12. So another die one that's uh, that's fine okay so it's time for allocate damage you say it's 21 because it's same uh, distance actually no it's uh armor is four yeah same as the Xander, so it's 21 okay that means so okay it's two damage but this one is a critical one because it's a double uh, normally a critical we used to uh, assign it to the armor because that's uh, the worst things and the one that it's a normal is gonna go on the mobility. I forgot to assign the critical to the Lysander. So again to the armor. It's time for another activation from the Exo. The Gremlin can move four and we're gonna move the normal movement. He could use rapid but it's not gonna do it. So he moved twice with a normal movement and with the other uh, action token is gonna go into guard like the rogue did before. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move and come here 
with a normal movement and with the second action go into guard so my hammer is gonna move with a normal movement this is uh, first four and then you can move up to here well actually with the second movement I'm gonna move here and here so these are two actions for the hammer so now back to the motion contingent Leonidas is gonna move um, normal movement four and another four here and also use the uh, guard action so yeah what I want to do is with the marksman is vehicle here it has four and I want to uh, make a normal movement to come here in line of sight of uh, on the Leonidas uh, there which is in guard and he can now decide if he want to do anything but he's gonna wait because he knows that I have another action and I'm gonna do something so with the second action I'm gonna shoot and he, he can declare um, shooting back using the guard action so he's gonna spend the, the guard token and uh, shoot at marksman before we, we do it so the distance between them is clearly enough sight and it's 14. 14 means uh, plus, plus the armor which is 1. So it's 15, it's 15 and there's nothing in the middle so it's 15. With uh, 3, 6, fire is 6, so 6 dice, quite a lot of dice. The maximum defend with 1 dice, cancel a 9 but there's no 9, only 6 and this is not enough so we can put another 6 here to make a 2 critical damage which is actually really really bad for the maximum because uh, just 1 is gonna destroy the armor and this uh, model is gone this is totally my fault but that, that's why you really should be careful when you move into someone which is in guard and it's uh, with uh, such a huge firepower but then is back to the Martian contingent. They have the last one, which is the Spartan. Spartan is gonna, he can move five and he can move and shoot without penalties. Well, it's definitely gonna uh, make a normal move, say five, so another four. We cannot stop in, uh, on top of each other. So he's gonna move there with the first action and the second action is gonna try to move and shoot, which is gonna be four four uh five actually five and another five there so now it's in a clear line of sight and very close to the armor which is uh five distance five plus the armor which is uh, four it's a total of nine and he uh, xmg so reduce the target defense by one definitely have two uh, reduce defense by one, defense is three, so it goes down to two. Wow, it's uh, unappointed, the four doesn't matter. Eleven, unfortunately that doesn't save anything. So, we say nine, and another nine, and it's two normal hit for the hammer. The hammer is gonna take two hit, and one, two, so I put both on mobility. I've said this one was the rogue earlier, but it's actually the Spartacus escort. The rogue is this one. So really, what I want to do, he has a four, and I definitely want to double move to come here with the first action. Actually, I could I could try to move and shoot, which means uh, I'm gonna use two dice. There's no way I can make it, but I'm gonna try. This is 12. 12 plus the four of armor is 16 with two dice. No, that failed. So with the second action, I'm going to do this um, with a full strike. Full strike means I'm going to add two to, um, two to the F, F characteristics, but that will need a reload on next turn, otherwise it's going to shoot half of its F characteristics. So we're going to shoot with six dice, and again we said 12 plus 4, 16. The Leonidas defense is 4. Cancel my 11, cancel the augmented dice, and that's it. 
so we say it's 16, only one damage, not great. And so we put the just only one damage on the mobility. And that's, uh, that's it for the first turn. The model which were in guard lose the guard action. So from the second turn uh, on, we just roll for initiative. This is the Martian Contingent and this is the Exor. So um, the Martian Contingent can decide if you want to start uh, or make start the activation to the Exor player. And I'm pretty sure the Martian Contingent is gonna start. The remote reporter for the Martian Contingent is the Leonidas, like uh, the previous turn. Well, this time for the, um, for the Exor, the remote headquarter is gonna be the aircraft which is going to declare right now that he wants to make an orbital entry. So I have to declare uh, using two tokens because the two action of the model, two entry point on the battlefield. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place it one here and one here. So those two are the possible two entry points for my aircraft. And this gives the possibility to the enemy to you know, make some tactical choice about how he doesn't want to do, what does he want to do during this turn to avoid, you know, to put some countermeasure in place. Okay, so because uh, the initiative is to the Martian Contingent, he's gonna uh, activate the Spartan, and he's gonna aim fire to, to the armor here. So he's gonna spend two action token to do that. That means he's gonna have five on the fire characteristics. And because it's very close, we say five plus four, it's a nine, like earlier. Not a great shot. Defense is 3, but because uh, the Spartan has XMG, uh, it goes down to 2. 4, cancel 4, 7, it doesn't matter. We say 9, so these 2, and that's it. 2, two damage for the hammer, which is going to be a bit harder to decide where to allocate them. Again, one is going to be on the mobility and one on the armor, because I want to maintain the firepower uh, stable because he's now gonna respond and I want to do you know, maximum damage. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot twice. So I'm gonna spend one action to shoot and I can also reroll one attack die for each shot. So again, this is a five plus the armor, which is two, so seven. Not great. I can reroll one dice, it's a bit better. And the defense is three. Wow, okay. Um, so 12 cancels 12, 6 and 11, nothing. So this is 1 and this is 2, but it's a critical. So 1 normal damage and 1 critical. We certainly decide to allocate the critical on the armor. This is not there, so there you go. And the other one on movement, because it's the uh, Martian Contingent player deciding. But this was just my first shot, so I'm gonna shoot another time. Uh, again with uh, 5. Five dice, and I can reroll one. It's a good shot. I'm gonna reroll the four. It's great. Again, defense three. That's nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna roll for the augmented dice. Another 12. And a five. We say it on a nine, on a seven. So one, two. This is a critical. We don't really need to do a lot of math here because uh, if we have two critical and two normal, but it doesn't matter two normal because the two critical is gonna destroy the element because we assign the other critical to the uh, armor and that's destroyed. So that's removed from the battlefield. They don't really want to be uh, it on the back from this orbital entry point. So I say that we're gonna move the um, Argo somewhere safer. So like it's gonna move four, two and two. And something like that. With the second action, we're definitely gonna shoot to the Spartacus Escort. Three dice and the 11, it counts like an augmented because it's using a laser. So we say we are at distance four plus armor four, so eight. This is an augmented. Uh, defense is three for the Spartacus. Wow, so this is canceled by the augmented dice, and you can reroll one additional one, but it doesn't matter because uh, five it's not enough. So that's it for the Martian contingent for the Argos activation. It's back to uh, back to us. 
So yeah, we should definitely come into play with an orbital entry uh, here. And because I'm, uh, I'm on, on the back, so that counts as an action. And I have spent an action to come into play, but because this is my remote headquarter on this turn, I have already, uh, still two action token to use. I'm gonna entry at um, altitude of one inch. So I use a die to, you know, uh, mark one inch from the ground. So that means that I'm at six plus one inch of the altitude is seven. And I need to, to do seven plus three Seven plus three is ten to, to hit the the op, op light, but because it's on the back, it, it cannot reply. It cannot uh, use a defense against my shield action. So I'm gonna spend my other uh, token, action token, to shoot. Let me say that I need a ten. It cannot defend. So one and two to normal hit, which is gonna put on the mobility like every good commander should do. And with the last action, again, we, we shoot. shoot again with four, five, four. And we need a 10, that's not great. Uh, again, it's on, on, it's on the back, so cannot defend. So we roll for the augmented die. It doesn't really matter because this is two. Two normal eat. And he's gonna put one on mobility and one this is not the one on, on fire. So now the Opelite decides to, to do something and he's gonna uh, move. So the first action is to move in position and second action is for shoot to the, to the aircraft. Now I am at four plus the altitude of one, so it's five with uh, five power of four. Need to look for fives, so there you go. There will be three, three damage, and I'm gonna roll for defense, which is two. Okay, so one eight, it's a uh, parry, and the nine, it doesn't help. Uh, this is two damage, two damage. We're gonna put it on mobility, as usual. It's uh, back to the XOR. I want to use my gremlin and make a rapid move, which is three times normal movement, would be 12 to get here, very close to to the Lysander and we have a plasma accelerator which uh, if I deal one damage is gonna be another damage additional one so it's uh, 5 power 3 because I'm very close it's gonna be 5 plus armor 3 8 okay so defense roll for the Lysander is uh, 3 dice 3 dice uh, it's not pairing anything and then we have two damage and I do I do an additional one. So it's three damage for the Lysander. Two, three. It's gonna be one, two, and three. So two on the movement and one on the fire power. So that was uh, that was the activation for the Gremlin, which is not really in a good position now. Um, so the Leonidas is gonna move here into cover with his first action. Actually, uh, we could we could probably use a, a move and shoot because uh, Leonidas has six, five power, so it doesn't really matter. We are nine, nine plus the armor for the robe, which is two, so it's 11. We only roll three dice because we have moved. And defense roll for the robe is, so we roll for the fence and we don't cancel. Yeah, we cancel the six, which is good, nothing else. I didn't see enough to avoid any damage. And with last action, we're going to make another shoot, but this time it's uh, six dice because it's the full five power. Again, here we say we are at uh, nine plus two, it's 11, so okay. And we defend with four. 11 cancels the 11 and another one and the eight. So it's a really good uh, defense roll. Seven is uh, not used. Uh, we needed uh, 11, so we can do it this way or this way, but still, it's just one damage. So one damage, gonna put it on mobility. So because um, because uh, Lysander hasn't shot at uh, the Gremlin yet, we should definitely put Spartacus Escort with his shield, uh, try to, you know, cover. We can't do enough movement, we, we would end up on top of it. So we're gonna spend normal movement to go up to here 
and the second action will be a move and shoot which is going to put it here so it's going to be like a proper shield to these uh, vehicles so because it's a move and shoot and unfortunately he's only five power three it's going to be two two dice but we're very close it's three three plus uh, three armor so it's going to six uh, with two dice nice so that's not enough but then now Lysander is definitely going to shoot very hard on the, on Spartacus. Spartacus has the ability, or because the force is generator, until he is shot by uh, the current position, he can make uh, half or five power of a, this enemy. So in theory, uh, what Lysander could do is to move around and try to shoot him from the back, which is probably a good idea. But Lysander has been putting um, damage on his mobility, so he can only move two. So even even with a rapid movement. With a rapid movement, you can probably make it. So yeah, yeah, you can definitely move and shoot, but you cannot go this close to the other element without declaring a charge. So I wouldn't do it. And we're gonna just shoot. This is three, distance is three. And instead of shooting with five, actually four, it's gonna be halved. So two dice against three plus the armor, which is four is seven. Roll. It's three dice. Three cancels the three, but still one damage comes uh, comes through. So we definitely need to take something off, maybe mobility. And with the second action, we just do the same. So defense. Take the nine off, and that's it. We definitely parry it all the damage okay so the only remaining element with some action token is the rogue which is gonna spend his first action token to try and reload when we reload we can roll a number of dice equal to the d characteristics which is four and we need to do at least more than more than three which is the damage total damage on the unit so that's fine we can reload without any problem let's say that reload becomes more complicated when you have a lot of damage on the on the element and with the second action we're gonna shoot at the leonidas leonidas which is definitely in cover so it's a plus three plus three plus nine it's 12 uh, 12 plus four which is the armor is 16 with a 16 and then the defense roll is four dice Five is cancelled, six is cancelled, and that's it. This is not 16, so he definitely parried every damage. And again, that's it for the second turn. Moment is two victory points for the for the Exor and one victory point for the Martian Contingent. Let's start with uh, round three. This is the Martian Contingent, and this is the Exor. So the Exor is gonna decide which one, if you wanna start or uh, uh, start as a second but at this point of the battle it's definitely important to take the initiative I want to give this part of uh, an additional action point being the remote headquarters for this uh, third round and I also want to give the Lysander an additional action token um, as a remote headquarter so because the the Exor um, can start first this is quite crucial with this situation here. Um, normally I would say that for a worker it is quite common to charge when they get so close to another element. But uh, believe me, I've tried it <laughs> several times and when your class is not same or bigger than the one that you want to charge, that is going to be quite hard and challenging for the, for the charger. So you, you don't want to do that, you just want to shoot or go away if you don't want to shoot. Um, but because you know this particles has the shield, it's probably a good idea just to to fire fire at will. So it's uh, three uh, five three, and again it's uh, uh, three range plus three armor, so six. And he has XMG, so he should uh, reduce damage uh, the D, the D roll for the for the designer. Wow, that's really good. So the defense is three, but because the XMG is two, wow. Okay, so we can roll other two dice. 
three, four. That's four. Four damage. One, two, three, four. Which we can do like one, two, three, and four. And that was just the first of the shot action he's gonna make. So again, three dice, and again two dice on the defense. No, it's uh, is now down to two, so only one because the XMG. And you can roll an additional one, but it's a six, so nothing really. So it's two, another two damage for Lysander. One and two, one and two. So one is on the F and one on D. I don't think he's gonna be able to withstand another another shoot action, which is last action for the Spartacus. Three dice. Uh, he cannot roll any defense because he's now down to one, and with my XMG, uh, he go down to zero. So uh, that's enough because it's just one six, and this is two sixes, so it's two damage, which is gonna make uh, Lysander go up to twelve on the damage bar and being destroyed. I'm pretty sure I've not been uh, uh, using the raid gun on the previous action which could have probably made some difference but uh, never mind. So being able to destroy the remote headquarter um, on the first activation was quite a, a good action for the... So what we do is to use the Argo to make a normal uh, move and shoot against this uh, gremlin. So because it's a move and shoot is gonna have the firepower which is uh, three and go down to two two and this is range two plus uh, armor three so it's fives one five and the armor is sorry the defense is three and we can add another dice but it's not enough so this is a five it's one damage first damage we're gonna put it on mobility so you can you can use the other action to shoot at full firepower, which is three. Defense roll, which is two. Uh, the one cancelled the one, but these two are still gonna be two damage against the gremlin. One, two, gonna put one on the mobility and one on the fence. Okay. So that's it for the Argos activation. So what I want to do here is to move and shoot with the armor to the Leonidas, which has four, armor four, and it's at five, so a total of nine. There's no hover anymore, but he has active camouflage, so it's a plus two for that. And it's, uh, we said, four plus five, nine plus two, 11. 11, and we have five power of Three because we have moved the first action. Okay, so defense is four. There's nothing there. So I can roll an additional die for the 12. It doesn't matter. I can reroll one because I have dual. So I'm gonna reroll one of the one. Now oh, that's good, that's better. Two damage in the first action. I'm gonna put it both of mobility. And now we're gonna show the all the firepower, which is five. And again, the fence is four. So cancel the six, and that's it. We say we need an 11, and this is another 11, and it's a critical. So it's a normal and a critical. And this disabled camouflage, because that's been it. Two damage, we put one on the armor, and it's gonna put one on the fence. So, uh, the up, up light here, for the Martian contingent is gonna shoot to the aircraft, which is a three plus one of altitude is four. Four with uh, four dice, and the armor is two, so a six are needed. And he has only two defense, two. Seven is cancelled, this one isn't. We roll an additional dice, uh, nothing. So one, two, three. Three damage for our aircraft. One, two, three. And we got one, two, three. So one armor, one defense, and one mobility. And that was just the first action. With the second action, we're gonna do it again. And it's uh, four, four, and we say we are at distance four plus one, five, plus one armor is six. Okay, so defense is now just one. Actually, it goes down to zero because the XMG, so I cannot make a defense roll. We can do a critical. In a normal one, critical I think is gonna mean 
is destroyed because the armor goes down to zero so he's gone before he was able to activate but not big deal because the exo seems uh, to be winning at the moment so now what we want to do with the exo is to activate the rogue and start shooting start shooting at uh, leonidas leonidas is at nine plus three armor nine uh, and two of the no, actually three of the cover 15 that's not enough so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use full strike which is gonna uh, unload my weapon with the second action so I roll six dice to make the 15 that was required earlier not great and he's gonna defend with three dice we have two nine and a two the two but the nine doesn't help so we have two damage two damage which means one and two and he's gonna put one of the defense and one on the five part that's because he want to shoot back and now we see it as five five power and is an advantage because it's a 9 plus 2 is 11 with 5 dice rogue respond with 4 defense 11 cancel 11 8 cancel this 8 8 cancel 8 and there is an augmented we said it's 9 plus 2 11 so he's very lucky because he was able to score 2 damage damage on the rogue one two one here and one on the fence and it was only the first shot so he's gonna shoot another time and again we need, oh, we need 11 and five power is five down to three and we don't have anything so this is one damage a double so this is another and it's a crit so normal and a critical so the critical is going on the armor and the normal one on movement so now uh, to action for the gremlin which is going to uh, move and shoot with the first action again we are at two with the argo which has armor two so we need a four with two dice we got a four the Argo is going to reply with a defense 3 and it cancelled the 4 so that's it then the second action is going to shoot and 5 power is 3 okay we need a 4 so there will be 2 the defense is 3 9 is cancelled and this is only 1 damage but it's a critical because it's double 3 so the Argo armor is going down to one and that's it for the fourth turn at this moment we have six victory points for the exo and three victory points for the martial contingent so on the fifth round the remote quarter for the martial contingent is going to be the leonidas here and for the exo it's going to be the armor here so it's gonna be a fight two against one i'm not sure leonidas, leonidas is gonna make it but let's start with the with the initiative roll um so this is the martian contingent it's a nine this is the martian the exor so the martian contingent is gonna start first uh, i should have mentioned that i've been ignoring intentionally the cyber warfare phase which is actually very important uh, because it actually affects uh, the possibility of reloading and um, and to reserve but it's not it's not relevant anymore uh, okay so the martial condition is gonna start and i'm sure we all know that i'm gonna start with the leonidas which uh, is probably his only uh, chance to win the fight so at least gonna kill the rogue he's gonna shoot uh, again it's um it was nine nine plus uh, the armor which is one is ten uh, with a five power of Four, five, and the rogue he has three defense three. So the two is cancelled. Eight and six are useless, but there is an acquainted die, 
for another seven. So this could be a uh, critical, and this another normal eight, a normal eight, and this is nothing. So two normal and one critical. I think it's gonna be uh, the end of rag because uh, the armor goes down to zero and is destroyed. Which is another four victory points for the martial engagement. And this was only the first action for Leonidas, which can definitely try to shoot and destroy the armor, which is very close. It's uh, five inches and only one quarter of the base is covered by the terrain, which means it's only a uh, one on the shoot, so plus one. And we say it's uh, five, five plus armor of three, it's eight plus one for the cover, nine. Nine, and again, it's five dice. The armor is gonna reply with a defense three. Uh, 9 cancel 9, 8 cancel 8, 1 is nothing, and so we say that we needed a 9, and it's only 1 damage, 1 damage, which I'm gonna put on defense. And with his last action, he's gonna try again. 5 dice. And we respond with 3. Actually, two now. Ten is gonna parry ten and six, nothing. So we say we need a ten, two damage, not enough. One is on the firepower and one on the fence because we need the maximum firepower available. And I would actually start with that straight away. So the armor is gonna activate and spend the first action to do exactly the same, but it's gonna be the five plus the three armor, so eight, with four dice, which is the five power of the armor. And the, the Leonidas is gonna reply with a defense two. Chances the 11, five is not enough, but there is an augmented dice, and it's another 11, okay. So one, two, and three, because it was a five plus three, eight. Okay, so three normal damage. I'm not sure it's gonna be able to handle that. One, two, three. Yes, one, two, three on the five power. And second action, again, My power is 4, and we need an 8. The defense is still 2. Uh, the 1 is cancelled, but nothing else. So I can even reroll something, but I'm not gonna do it. Well, I could reroll the 6 actually. And it's another 1, and it's definitely enough to destroy Leonidas once for all. Just remove it from the battlefield. And I don't think I have another action. I don't remember anymore. But let's say I don't have it. So it's back to the Martian contingent, which is desperately gonna try to shoot with the Argo to, to the Gremlin. Uh, so it's uh, 5 power 3, he has laser, and it's uh, 2 inches plus armor 3, so it's 5. Defense from the family is just one, but yeah, one that doesn't help. Uh, he has laser, so this is an augmented. You can roll another one six, and then we say it was two plus three, five. So one, two, three, three damage, one mobility, one five power, and one armor. It's not great, but uh, we want to keep trying that on the battlefield. So with the second action token, we're gonna make another shoot action. We dice again on five. Not great, but uh, we're gonna be just one defense, which cancel the two. So it is only one damage. 
but uh, it's gonna make it harder for the gremlin to survive. So he's gonna he's gonna take F another F off. I'm gonna do the same. So the gremlin is gonna respond with two actions. So he's gonna make a name and shoot. So he's gonna go to five power two and the Argo has armor one, so it's a it's a three. And the fence for the Argo is three. And nice. And it doesn't cancel anything. So it's just one damage. One damage for the Argo, but no mobility. And it's back to the Martian Contingent with the Oplite, which will have to move twice. And he's also gonna try to shoot, move and shoot with the first action, which is gonna be 5 power 2. He's at 4, and I would say he's in partial cover of 1, so it's 5. 5 plus uh, Spartacus armor of 4, so it's a 9. Spartacus has a defense of 3. The 10 cancel the 10, so there's not enough to make any damage. With the second action, he's gonna try to shoot with the effect power of 4. Then we look for 9s. And we defend with 3 dice. Don't parry anything. So we say it's uh, 4 plus 1, 5 plus uh, 4, so 9. So 9, I would say we can make a critical there and a normal so critical and a normal at least we can put a one on the armor and the other one is gonna be on mobility the Spartacus is gonna aim and shoot it's gonna bring this is uh, four again and the applied is uh, armor three so it's gonna be seven Seven, uh, but we aim it, so it's gonna be four dice, and he's gonna defend with three dice. It doesn't help. I can roll an additional one for the augmented. Mm -hmm. So we could definitely. This is a five, but we needed a three plus five, a seven, eight. Eight, uh, so that's not enough, but we can do like that for a critical damage and a normal damage. So critical and normal. Critical is going to be on the armor and the normal one on movement. We go straight into last turn, which is the sixth turn. Round number six. Again, we do the initiative roll. This is for the martial engagement and this is for the exo. So again. So the Martian Contingent is gonna have the chance to start again. The Oplite is gonna be the remote headquarter for this round. The Spartacus is gonna be the remote headquarter for uh, the Exor. So of course the Oplite is gonna be the first shooting. And again, we said it's uh, four inches plus the armor, which is three, and the cover, so let's do uh, four plus four, eight. Eight, we got five power of Four. He also has an XMG, so I probably have forgot earlier because I've been rolling three dice instead of two. Eleven cancels the eleven, one cancels the one, and again we say we needed a eight. So I've got two. I could use both to make a critical damage, but I don't think that's uh, it's not worth. Damage. I'm gonna put one on mobility and one on defense. So second action again. You can shoot with four. We needed a eight, just one for defense, cancels the two. So I would do I would do this one as a critical this time. I'm gonna put it on the armor. 
and last reduction. It's a brilliant, a brilliant uh, result. The fence we say it's down to one because the XMG, and it's just a one, so it's one, two, three, and I can roll an additional one. So this is four, four damage. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I would say that this attack was really successful, even if he hasn't destroyed it. He left it almost a uh, useless, useless condition. We definitely want to to destroy the oplite. So what I'm gonna do is to move the gremlin here, and I would say that was a move and shoot with the first action so it's just one dice but it's one inch plus two armor is a three so maybe one dice no that's a one so nothing with the first action and with the second action again it's just one dice one die and it's a seven and the defense roll is actually three dice and you can reroll other two and that's the seven to cancel the shoot action. So well done for the apply. And now the Argo can freely shoot on the back of the Spartacus. So with the first action, he's gonna shoot three dice. Uh, four plus one armor, five. And I cannot make any defense roll. I already forgot, it's uh, four plus one, five. So one, two, three, and an additional one is just a four so it's three damage to the spartacus which is gonna be destroyed before activating oh my god that's gonna change the victory condition and that before you could even try to do anything so at least you could uh, try to move back here instead of uh, being shot by the the hammer which is left to activate he can move only one, so even with uh, two action, he's not gonna be able to do much. He's gonna be able to only move four. And that uh, ends the round with an unexpected result because um, the Exo have made four plus four plus two for a total of ten victory point and the Martian contingent was able to make 4 plus 2, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 1, 10. So it's a perfect draw. That's incredible. It was totally unexpected, but well deserved by the Martian contingent, which was uh, struggling all the battle, but was able to um, draw at the end. So from this episode is everything, I hope you liked it and please if you haven't done so subscribe to the channel and help me to make new content and keep doing stuff like I'm um, doing it like now. Um, again if you have spot any mistakes I'm sure I've done many put it into the comment and I'll see you next time.